Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day nine of the Leak Code Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm. Uh, as you can see, I'm in Aruba right now. Uh, apparently it's a Dutch city. Did you know that? I don't know. Anyway, uh, if you're interested in how that's going, follow me on Instagram and you know, there's a link below somewhere and you can kind of you know, see see what I'm up to. Anyway, today's problem is two sum two input away is sorted sorted. So definitely this is um hmm. yeah, so definitely this is oh only one solution. Okay, I was gonna say you have to return all of them. But the idea here and of course extra uh all of one extra space, because if it's all of an extra space, just use a lookup table, right? Or like a hash table or something like that. Um so Basically, the technique here is very common, so I do hope you come up with it. Um, if not, that's okay, but you should practice enough so that if you see this problem, you're able to come up, or not, not necessarily this problem, but these sorts of problems, you're able to come up with it. And what I mean by that is that the hard part about this problem is recognizing this. Um, I, I, don't, I, I don't like to use the word pattern because I feel like people just use that everywhere, but I feel like when you see this kind of technique being uh, being able to be applied, um, it does help in a lot of places. I mean, right now it's talking about constant extra space, but but if you are adding more dimensions, that constant extra space becomes linear instead of quadratic, and then that becomes a difference in certain uh, in different problems and so forth. And the space, the idea that I'm talking about, of course, is. Um, I, I, there's a couple of ways that you could call it. I, I, it's greedy, and uh, I call it maybe, let's just say two fingers, right? Because you put one finger on somewhere, and then you put another finger somewhere, and then you kind of move them one by one or something like that, right? Um, and, and that's basically the idea behind this problem. Um, and it does take advantage of the fact that the input array is sorted. And that's actually uh, something that is... Um, once you get the hang of it, it's something that you should consider as well. Because if what happens if it's not sorted? Well, this, the easy solution is maybe you could sort it, and then it lets you do other things easier, right? So that's basically the idea. That's basically what we're gonna do, and that's basically it. So, okay. So let, I um, so that's the technique that I know is true, but I haven't done it in a while, so I don't actually know. Um, if this is, uh, or I, I, don't, I don't know, we'll see, we'll, we'll, we'll explore it together. Uh, I don't know if that I'm going to get it right, but uh, or at least like, I'll get it eventually, right? Just not maybe like, you know, just type it out. So left pointer, we start at zero, uh, and right pointer, we start at minus one. And then basically now we go numbers of left pointer. Well, actually, let's go left pointer is less than right pointer, right? Okay, what happens? Well, if numbers of left pointer well let's just do total is equal to numbers of left pointer plus numbers of right pointer right okay what does that mean if the total is too big we need a smaller number right to um versus the target okay if total is equal to target then we're just done and then we can return the index so we'll just return a left pointer right pointer right okay if total is greater than target, that means that the number that we have is too big, and the only way to get it smaller is to move the right pointer, right? So then we do a right pointer decrement. Um, and then else, which in this case is obviously uh, less than target, target, we do left pointer plus one because we want a bigger number, right? So that's basically the idea that we have. Um, yeah. And this is the invariant is that uh, of the thing is that both of these numbers combined will uh, eventually uh, collapse into one number. Um, I think there is exactly one solution, so this will never be a uh, uh, force or always. So we can just maybe do an assert force just to see. That means that if this assertion does hit, it will force an assertion exception, uh, and. We'll also know that something else is wrong. Okay. Did I, uh, this is one index. Okay, it's one index. I mean, that's fine. Obviously, this is just adding plus one plus one then. Hmm. 
Pending. Okay. Maybe I just have a slow internet because I'm in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Let's give it a minute. Hopefully this is good. Apparently I haven't done this before. Maybe. I don't know if this is true. Oh, I haven't done it before. Oh, yeah. A new problem for my 800th day. So, uh, yeah. Yay. Actually, that's pretty good. Hmm, maybe I should make a small post about it. Anyway, uh, I guess actually, you know, being at a Uber and going to the beach and stuff like this, uh, it's a good 800 day celebration. I didn't find that though. But anyway, as you can guess, this algo is linear because we look at, mo at worst, each pointer goes, to, you know, like we use all the pointers and it's O of N, right? Um, and of course, this is going to be all of one extra space because we have, actually, I don't even use this. I, I think I, I'm just very used to just writing this out, but I guess that actually doesn't do anything. Um, but yeah, uh, all of one extra space because we only have two pointers here and that's it, right? Um, cool. That's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Stay good, stay healthy to good mental health. I'll see you later and take care. Bye-bye.